our helper healer nature can can be a perfect blend with our financial warrior nature what if there doesn't have to be a separation between the two or a pulling apart what if it can be a coming together and what if imagine or, or what if it's part of my core belief that at some level we're all helper healers we all have that ability at some level as well as in this day and age there's some level of the financial warrior in all of us that can do a tremendous amount of good and so much of the time there is a conflict in the two pulling at our different natures what if we can blend the two together so hey guys this is uh Robert coming at you from my home here. It's it's Christmas week. I just wanted to share this uh, brief topic with you. It's near and dear to my heart as I look for clarity and clear sense of direction going into a whole new year, especially since it's been such a topsy-turvy year here in 2020. So here's my, my, my four points. Hope these make sense and maybe these will hit on whether they resonate with you or share it with a friend who has the both these natures that, that are inherent and who they are and how they live life. So number one, uh, again, helper healer, this is kind of my playground. And if you're, if you talk more spirit, soul, energy, stay tuned. If you're not, this may not be the video for you. Let's be real, but here it is. Here's my four points. <laughs> number one, embrace the energies. The energy of the helper healer, feminine, uh, calming, peaceful, grounded, center, nurturing. Yes, yes, if you're a man watching this, you have that part of your nature. <laughs> and financial warrior, male, aggressive, masculine, uh, fixing things, putting things together, bada boom, bada boom. There's that both nature. There's nature in both of us. So part of the, the way to heal and to blend helper, healer, financial warrior into one beautiful spirit that can give and lead and contribute at a higher level is to, number one, realize that all of us have, I have both energies inside of me that God put there. It's, 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 it's who we are. It's okay to blend and to balance these two together and to work on that. They don't have to be warring at each other. They can be at peace. All right. And number two, it's part of the, the journey through any financial baggage or even our financial blueprint is realize money and currency, abundance. Okay. It's, it's simply receiving value for value given. So one of the inner battles that I've battled with through the years was, well, I'm asking for money or what if I, is that in my nature to talk? Will you, here's something, yes, there is a cost. Will you actually buy this? When in, in reality, part of my sales journey alongside my help or healer journey is real. I've always had something of deep innate value that could make a, a, a beautiful, tremendous difference in people as well as content like this. So part of it is to realize that it's money in abundance regarding having baggage and walls around it. It's simply receiving value for value given. That helped me kind of heal that money baggage, if you will, around dealing, being that financial warrior. That's part of my nature. Okay. So and number three, it's all about the energy we give anything. If we give energy and feed the, I call it, well, if we feed our imposter who's more scarcity, comparison, judging, devaluing the value our products or services and what we have to give, if we devalue that, then that, that's always going to be the energy around it, our financial warrior aspect. But if we can nurture it and feed it and give it the energy that we're giving that tremendous value, we're helping people, we're giving them, which is number four. Number three, it's all about the energy we give it. Number four, the last thing, it's, it's a tool. Money, currency, abundance, it's, it's simply a tool to do good with. 
good people do good things with more money. Inherently, people bad or people not bad. I would say people that are more focused on the uh, the darkness. Money will bring. They'll find a way to decrease the light to bring more darkness. So it's it's not it, it's money is a tool to do good when we choose to do that. If if our helper healer nature is alive and well and we're feeding it and nourishing it, then when more money and more abundant abundance comes into our life, we're going to do a tremendous amount of more good with it. So so these are my four points, and the, it, there was a summary here that there's it's a beautiful thing we can blend the two the world needs more help for healers who also step into their financial warrior selves and give other people permission to step into both energies and that's a beautiful thing it's never been more needed and more accessible in this day and age where we're all interconnected around the planet so again helper healer financial warrior blend the two and there's some beautiful ways and we can do tremendous good once we step into that place and step into our God-given power and light. So have an amazing day and be abundant. Take care.